Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about opening your database exclusively, what that means, and why and when you'd want to do it. Today's question comes from Sammy in Atlantic City, New Jersey, a gold member. Sammy asks, I have my database split between front-end and back-end files like you taught us, which is good to do for any networked database. Each user gets their own front-end, which has the forms and queries and such, and the back-end file sits on the server and has your tables in it. Whenever I want to make changes to the back-end tables, I always get an error message saying I don't have exclusive rights to the database. How can I fix this? Well, Sammy, I hear this from a lot of people. When someone on your network is using your database. They've got their front end file open, but they've got shared access to those back end tables. Unfortunately, the only real way to fix this problem is to kick everyone out of the database. You have to tell everyone else to close down their copy of the database because if they're editing a record, they've got that record locked, which means the database file is open in shared mode and you can't get exclusive rights to it. You need exclusive rights to it in order to make design changes. Access is set up to handle record locking so that if you're editing Joe Smith, someone else can't edit Joe Smith, but you can't make design changes to that table either because it's open in shared mode. So you have to tell everybody to get out of your database. Now, this is something you can do, you know, over your intercom or run around the office and tell everybody, hey, I got to make changes, instant message people, whatever you got to do, but there's no way around it. You have to kick people out of the database in order to make design changes to the database. This is another one of the reasons why it's important to split your database because in addition to it running better, uh, you can make design changes on your front end database copy, your forms, your queries and such, and then just push an update to the server. But as far as modifying those back end tables go, no, you got to kick everybody out of the database. Now, once you get everybody kicked out of the database and tell them, hey, stay out of the database, you may want to open that database exclusively so nobody gets back into it while you're making your design changes. So here's what I'm going to suggest you do. Okay, here's my desktop and here's my access file that I want to open exclusively. Let's pretend this is the server. This is the backend file that contains the tables. Now, don't double click on this file like you usually do to open access because it's just going to open it in shared mode again. I want you to find your actual Microsoft Access application icon or shortcut. It's probably on your Windows Start button. Go locate it. I just put a copy of it on my desktop here. This is an actual shortcut to access itself. So open that. All right, now I'm going to go to Open. Pick Browse. The good old-fashioned Open dialog box appears. What I want you to do is select, there's my database I want to open, just customers.accdb. Now down here with the Open button, I want you to drop this down and pick Open Exclusive. Okay, now it looks the same, but you've got exclusive rights to this database now. Nobody else can connect to it. And you can simulate that actually by, let me just move this out of the way here. You can simulate that by opening up another copy of Access, even on the same machine. All right, here's a second copy of Access. I'm going to go to open and then browse again. And then here's that database. If I try to open this just any old way, look at the file is in use. Enter a new name or close a file that's open another program. So anybody else tries connecting to your database, they're going to get an error message saying they can't get into it, whether they open the front end that has linked tables or not. So now I've got complete rights to this database file. I can do whatever I want to it. I can make my design changes and I don't have to worry about my other users getting into it. So that's all you have to do. Go into file open and then pick open exclusive while you're making your design changes. Then when you're done, you could tell everybody, hey, I'm done. You can get back in the database now. Here's a little shameless plug, some advertising real quick. Um, I don't have this built in yet, but I do have a program available called the Access Updater, which lets you push updates or your front end database files on your network for your users. I am going to build in a feature very soon that allows you to kick everybody out of the database. So when they check for an update, every whatever interval you have it set to, it'll make sure they all get booted out of the database and can't get back in. So that's coming soon. Want to learn more? There is a members only extended cut edition of this video where I show members how to open an exclusive copy of the database with a desktop shortcut. So you can open it from the shortcut instead of having to go into file, open, pick the database file, pick exclusive, and so on. You can just create a shortcut right on your desktop. 
How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and other perks. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different perks that are available. Silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. But don't worry, these tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making them, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and share. Click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and be notified of any new releases. Check for additional resources down below the video. Click the show more button and you'll see a list of other links to other videos, downloads, resources, lessons, and lots more. If you have not yet tried my free access level one course, it's three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1 and that's free for my members. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can post your question there. Also, be sure to stop by my access forum on my website. And also look for me on Facebook, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross with AccessLearningZone.com. Thanks for learning with me, and I'll see you next time.